So what's up guys, welcome to the video. I think we all know what it's time for. It's time to see what the new Evo Enkis look like. Before we get started, obviously they're not going to look as good as the gold in my opinion, because they are just a standard silver color, but you never know, they might end up suiting the car really good. Obviously at the minute we've got the, um, we've just got the standard wheels that have been painted by AC Alloys. Uh, it did a really good job of these. Unfortunately the front ones, uh, absolutely caked in brake dust thanks to PBS so <laughs> uh, these are gonna have a hard life hey up Elvis what go on so yeah literally like thick in brake dust but we've got the Enkies to install and I'm just gonna have a quick look at the tires because it wasn't gonna be long until I needed newer tires these are getting a little bit worn and they probably weren't gonna last me much longer now these tires have been quite good to be fair I did take the car uh, on three sisters uh, and the car didn't slip out once the tires do the, the screech a damn lot but it never stepped out once and it was pretty it was pretty good to be fair to say they were just the standard tires that came on the car um i was quite impressed but either way i'm gonna get the jack out i'm gonna jack the car up i don't think this is gonna be a very long video so the only trouble i think we're gonna run into is obviously these are a little bit of a different offset to the standard ones now i'm running spaces at the minute as you can see the fitment is pretty bang on like the fitment is very very nice now i'm hoping that these will come out just about the right width as these maybe even a little bit better i've been told so i'm kind of crossing my fingers that we don't rub because at the minute i am on springs so if we rub we rub there's nothing i can do about it except put the original alloys on but the guy that had them on his said that only rub uh, when you go over speed bumps uh, and his only rubbed on the back. Now my back, because I've obviously got the rear stripped out and literally nothing in the boot, my rear sits really, really high. Uh, so I might, might be able to get away with this. We're just gonna give it a go and then we're gonna take it around the block, see if she rubs. Uh, for the first time ever, I think I'm gonna purposely try and find some speed bumps just to see how we get along, but I'm not gonna ruin the car just for a few days waiting. I'm gonna get my jack out and we're gonna get these alloys on. Now the good thing about Hot Hat's life is I only have to jack it up once on each side because once you start jacking it up on one side of the car, both wheels end up lifting off the floor, which is a little bit of a touch. I'm obviously going to use a jack stand, an axle stand, just in case because yeah, we don't want a reoccurrence. Probably should have cracked the wheels before I jacked the car up. It's fucking unbelievable at times, man. Now, once again, thank you to Iron Health for sending me this out because look how easy this is. One, two, three, four. How, how much, how, how, get yourself one of these, please get yourself one of these and tell them I sent you, because how, how easy was that? I could even do it while I was recording, that's how easy it was, but locking wheel nut, then we're off. So yeah, like I said, uh, I've got spaces on these at the minute, so obviously these are gonna have to come off uh, to fit the new tires, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these spaces off. Ooh, the spaces are off and Oh, let's just get them on. Let's just get them on. No bullshit. Let's just get them on. Oh, so that's one on. Now, I'm not too keen on the colour, to be fair. Uh, I'm n I've never been a fan of chrome alloys. I just think chrome ruins a car. But the way they do sit does look really good. I'm going to do the backs now. Uh, drop this car and then do like a side-by-side. -side. Obviously, the other side will have the gold on this side. or have the, uh, the new ones on. But I really like them. I do really like them. I can't wait until they're coloured and everything matches again. Yes, they look sick. Oh, let's drop it. Oh my God, these look so sick. Do you know now it's on the back, I'm actually, I kind of like the colour, but obviously it's getting changed anyway. These look better than I even imagined, man. Wow. So I'm kind of just hoping and praying that they don't scrape much. I can deal with them scraping on speed bumps because I can just go really slow over speed bumps. That's okay for the meantime. But if they're scraping when I'm going around corners and stuff, they are going to have to come off. But 
we've got a solution so don't worry um, I'll probably throw it in at the end of this video the solution to that you probably guess what it is I mean in a perfect world they'll fit when I drop the car now and they'll be absolutely fine and hopefully not rub who knows I might get lucky oh they fit perfectly the front is, a, is, is very close, the front is very close, but I think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. Oh my God, they look unreal. I'm gonna do the other side, take the handbrake off, and then take it for a spin, but the fitment as well without the spacers is really not that bad as well. Like, it's, it's pretty much perfect, it's literally perfect. Now, this might be the same for all those OG subscribers that watched me when I put the bowlers on my VXR. They had to come off pretty shortly after, and uh, I ended up selling them, but that's not the case with this one, do not worry. Um, I'm gonna make this one work. But, oh my God, they look unreal. Right, let me go do the other side, but, oh, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up. I just want to say, get yourself a girlfriend because can you just pass me the hammer and screwdriver? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you know what we do need? Some weed killer. Let's just take them weed or something. Oh my god, there's a wasp near me, there's a wasp near me, there's a wasp near me. Mm -hmm. oh. Sup! Oh my, oh my god, look at the fitment on the front! Oh, I hope these don't rub. I'm going to tidy the driveway, put all, the, uh, put all my stuff away and uh, we're gonna go take it for a spin and see if it rubs or not. Look at these, man. Eagle F1, Goodyear tires, absolutely buzzing. I think we should be all right. If I go steady over speed bumps and any road bumps, I think we should be all right, but oh. All right, moment of truth. I'm just gonna drive to uh, Tesco petrol station and back because I need some petrol, but everyone, let's get a little prayer in the comments. Hopefully these don't rub. I think we're good. I think we're good. If you did hear a little bit of um, rubbing noise, that's just the cross brace because it's not fully bolted in. Because I went a bit slap happy with the um, <laughs> gone. I thought they'd rub coming out of my drive. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I thought I thought they'd rub coming out the driveway because it's quite a little bit of a dip. But so far, oh man! <laughs> oh, shut up! Shut up! Oh, I hope you guys like these as much as I do. They look so nice. Oh, you don't understand how proud I am of this car. I absolutely adore the thing. I did say in the video that if they do rub, we've got something that will, um, that will counteract that. Now, when I get home, I will show you in this video, but after that, I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video unboxing all the things I, I bought because I spent like a lot of money on these and it's gonna benefit the car really well. So I'll show you that in a bit, but I'm gonna drive to Tesco, go there and uh, just make sure that they don't rub, but so far, so good. It's just, uh, just double check. Just turn the, turn the wheel full lock to the right. Yeah. Oh wow, I think we're pretty good. We're pretty clear. Oh God, oh shit. All right, go on then. Oh God. Oh, for, oh, oh, shocking hell. If any of you use a car, guys, and you ever let your missus drive your car, you know this feeling, and it's not a nice one. <gasps> oh, boy, she looks so nice. She looks so nice. Oh. <laughs> Why is she heading for the fence? Oh, they look mint. I think I might just mention it. If anyone wants to see a full video on Courtney driving the EP3, just drop a comment because I think that'll be quite a funny video. And you've always been asking to drive this, haven't you? I think that'll be make make a good video. Right, I'm going to uh, go get some petrol and then, oh, maybe not. Petrol light's gone off, but I'm going to go get some petrol anyway. Uh, and then I'll pick the video up when we get back home. Hopefully it hasn't rubbed or anything. Um, I'm pretty, pretty confident with them now. And then I'll show you what we've got next for the car. Okay. It's official, this thing actually drinks petrol, but all the way to Tesco and back, we're perfect. There's no, no marks on the tyres, nothing, no marks on there. I think we're actually perfect. Boys, I'm so, so happy with these. I hope you all like them as much. Seriously, absolutely over the moon. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, quickly go inside and, uh, and show you what we've bought. So, I'm not going to open any of these. I've only had a sneak look. Uh, at one of them and the rest I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna do a vlog or something this week and throw them in that opening and unboxing everything but I just want to say thank you to Tegwa for hooking me up like 
oh, it means so much. Tegra are literally like, I'm so proud that I can call Tegra a sponsor of mine. It's, it's, it's nuts. But we've got, how cool is this? A little Honda oil filler funnel kind of thing. So that like extends out and you fill your oil because you know if you own a K20 you need to keep up with the oil. This is a Tegra anti-roll bar. We've got the ball joints, uh, the steering rack arms, the camber arms, and we've got a set of yellow speed coilovers, brand new, fresh in the box. And like I said, I'm gonna open these all in another video, and that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna leave it at that, I'm so sorry, but if you did enjoy, I hope you like the wheels as much as I do. I'm really, really stoked with them. I absolutely love this car, and it's, it's getting properly treated now. Um, for all those people that said do some proper mods, here I am, trying to do my best. But if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for all the support. Peace.